and thanks for watching uh, BCB Supply. Uh, we've got another uh, product information video here for you, and today we're going to talk about entrance reducers. Uh, as you may know, if you use a Langstroth Hive, we have uh, a door reducer that specifically fits our bottom boards, but not all of them uh, fit uh, whatever it is, the 16 inches of width. Uh, and ours typically come with a small entrance, which is about 1B width, and then uh, a summer entrance that allows a bit more traffic. And then in a jam, you can always remove that. But here we are in uh, not quite winter, but the late stages of fall, and the weather's starting to change around us. So we're looking at different ways that we can reduce the entrance and give the bees uh, a better chance uh, to survive, guard their hive, and uh, maybe not get exposed to a lot of uh, you know uh, winter elements. So. In the late summer and early fall, we like the robbing screen. Again, it sits right on your entrance and it actually tricks robbers and wasps uh, by having them fly down at the entrance. But the bees actually use a separate entrance, which is easier to defend. So that's something that's for, for late summer. But I want to talk a little bit more, more about winter and how uh, it's becoming more popular or a move that, that beekeepers make in order to tighten up their their entrance. So this is a plastic uh, uh, nail mounted entrance reducer that is suitable for the bee and not much else bigger. So that, that is helpful to have and you can tighten things up as much as possible or not. So this could be a four season uh, entrance but uh, that is a, a quick and easy fix for making your entrance reduced uh, this one has been popular for a number of years. Uh, this is a metal guard that is suitable for either transporting your beehive or uh, letting it be permanently guarded against mice, rodents, rats, and any other critters that might find their way into the hive over the winter because they know it's a warm source of, of shelter and, you know, free honey uh, as sustenance. Uh, this one tends to come with a few clips. And the range of, of prices are, you know, kind of be between uh, a buck or two, all the way up to fifteen or sixteen dollars. So, different ways uh, to uh, utilize and protect yourself on upper entrances is something simple like a dial. So this would this would give you your your upper entrance. Let's say if your hive was, I don't have a box to demonstrate, but if you have a top entrance, you can spin this dial if you're if you're mounted with the entrance. You can make it queen excluded during times of swarm. You can make it entirely closed off or you can make it vented. I'm not sure how well that, that comes across, but there are different variants of, of those types of dial entrances. They always give a queen exclusion. They always have a full entrance and then a vented entrance. And then this one happens to be made out of steel. Also pretty effective, very durable and just another option for you to transport your hives or winterize them effectively. Just wanted to talk a bit, a bit about that. Uh, this, this is what uh, most people are already taking care of if they're planning to overwinter their hives uh, as the temperature drops. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions on these door reducers, feel free to reach us at 236-888-1484. There's a look at our our new truck magnets, uh, door magnets, and uh, and uh, what can I say? We're thrilled with the design, we're thrilled with our products, and we're thrilled to be helping uh, new beekeepers and uh, improving beekeepers as we all go along. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon.